Hi, I'm Gurpate Pirzada and uh, I am I have just uh, done this uh, show class. And uh, welcome to Hindustan Times. Uh, can I call you Gur? Because I think uh, yeah, I, Gur Fate, Gur Fate, whatever. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah. I think this is the first time um, you are speaking with me for Hindustan Times. Yeah. Uh, so a warm welcome. And uh, I think the first thing that we are going to talk about is, of course, class. Uh, you tell me how has been the response so far, you know. Is it exactly what you expected from the show? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, I was extremely nervous because I didn't know how it was going to go because, uh, like, we shot over such a long period of time. I had I had zero idea what I've done. I had zero idea if the character has translated, how well is it translated, uh, especially worried about the dialect because we had learnt it before shoot and uh, you know it it gets very hard to sort of keep tap of what you've done in one scene five six months ago and uh, what you're doing now and is the language language matching because it's not my it's not the way I talk so uh, I think that I was extremely nervous about and worried about apart from that uh, I was confident that the show is good I I knew that uh, everyone worked really hard on it. And uh, it will be received uh, well. Uh, so well, I didn't know. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely glad that uh, people are liking the show. Uh, uh, and more than that, they're liking my work. Uh, they, uh, they, they can see that I've worked hard and uh, there are layers to my character and the nuances and they're picking up on them. So yeah. Definitely. Your character, I think, Neeraj, is very uh, complex for that matter. So did you take any pointers from Ellie? Did you watch it or something like that? No, not really. Uh, they, it's a different. Uh, it's a different character. The language mm-hmm. is different. The world is different. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Nano's character in Elite, Elite is from Spain, and that's very different in that mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, mine is from uh, uh, like a small Jogi Jopri and uh, somewhere in Old Delhi, uh, a very small space, uh, lack of space, the privacy, uh, uh, how to have a private moment in that uh, little house with your father and your brother in the same room uh, and all those things I had to obviously go through and understand mm. uh, the, sm- the smell of the place. Mm. Uh, how does one live live with live in that because obviously I come from Bombay and before mm. that I studied in Delhi uh, in a very elite school, a school exactly like class, you know. Uh, so uh, uh, I have had a very different upbringing in that sense uh, to uh, do a character night like Neeraj yeah. Obviously, I had tough times in my life. Hmm. I have worked. I've done some really odd jobs. Uh, like I've personally, I've worked in a meat shop and post, uh, pizza store and swept floors of a grocery store back in the day when I was 18 years old to make make, make some money and make ends meet. So uh, I think that helped because I knew how hard life can get. So yeah. those experiences really helped me. And uh, and uh, yeah, I mean. Everything else was just prep, prep. Uh, the acting coach mm. helping me. Uh, obviously the Oshimalu Aliya Gul and uh, Kabir helping me. Uh, the dialect coach uh, Nitin sir, he uh, really you know helped me keep give me a parameter of the language that yeah. I'm supposed to talk in and what is right and what is not. So yeah. I was actually coming to this thing only because uh, I know about your background and everything. So first, let's talk <clears> about <throat> the school that you mentioned in Delhi. So for example, I was just, I, I mean, just it just happened that few days ago, I watched this one parody video of uh, of schools in Delhi, you know, how, how um, students are so spoiled there and stuff like that. So how was your experience in school? I wouldn't say spoiled in that sense, but... Uh... I would just say that it's a different world, you know, hmm. their worldview is different. Hmm. Uh, what they're taught, their conditioning is very different. So I went to a school called Pathways, brilliant hmm. school. Hmm. I mean, a uh, very good school and uh, uh, yeah, I've heard the, name. the experiences. Yeah. And the experiences I had there and the kind of people I met uh, really helped me uh, grow up as a person and uh, sort of give me a mind of my own. But uh, I had my own identity crisis while I went there because uh, I was in this school where Everyone was ultra rich and I was this kid who was there by the virtue of being the son of a staff member. You know, my mom used to be a dorm parent in school and she, uh, she took that, took that job so that, 
her kids get an education in a nice school and because uh, we didn't have the money uh, so uh, so yeah i mean uh, that did help me a lot but also gave me an identity crisis because i was in this, i was around these people who had everything at the tip of their you know fingers and yeah. uh, i had to uh, i had to sort of maneuver my way and steer steer my way into that world existing on my own but also not mm. uh, like uh, you know people would go to parties and all these kids would go to parties mm. uh, sneak out and all that stuff and i would also want to do that but i was also like but i can't like how like you know i can't have a crazy weekend out uh, at a club because i don't have the money i don't uh, i uh, i i like i i remember <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's it sounds so silly now but i remember like there used to be this is back in i think 7th grade when uh, 7th or 8th grade when like these boarding students and all that stuff used to have this you know there was a very famous lollipop back in the day jolly rancher and that yeah. used to be i think a 40 yeah like 40 yeah. 45 rupee uh, uh lollipop and uh, i would not buy it i would not buy it because i didn't know how to ask for 50 bucks from my mom because i was like you know uh, she only earns so much and uh, uh like if i start asking for these stupid little you know perks and treats uh, uh you know it, it'll get hard on her uh, like one thing leads to another T- today it's 50 rupees tomorrow it'll be 500 rupees so uh i think uh, that sort of uh, helped me uh in building my sort of uh, world view and uh, the way i wanted to sort of live and obviously uh, helped me come to bombay and work this hard to you know reach a certain place that i, think, I can I live a life on my own such a, such an amazing son you have been just to hear it from yeah. you you have been such a sensitive kid you know at this point because <laughs> i think uh, during that school phase it, it's very it's very difficult you know it's very difficult i guess and it is uh, but like i mean if you learn yeah you do and yeah. uh, here you are today you have made it on your own and <laughs> not yet not yet there's a long way to go but like yeah there's, there's, see there are I'm, people I'll, lining I'll, up I'll to talk start. to you so i think you are already <laughs> thank you thank you and uh, in fact i was i was actually going to ask you uh, about your journey in uh, bollywood so far <laughs> so uh, i read about i read i read about the times you uh, had to do so many different jobs in canada and then from mm-hmm. there to you know come back to bombay and then look for um, look for projects and everything how was the journey if you can tell us i mean i <laughs> you know when when you are in that spot mm-hmm. it's easy it's incredibly yeah. easy because you don't know what like i didn't have anything to lose i i came out of school from this pathways which mm. was uh, life was protected life was uh, great because i was in you know boarding there was nothing to worry about because i didn't have to like there, there were no extra expenses there was nothing the minute i got out of school that's when life hit because i was like okay now what i have to go for college college mm. kaise paise bharne padenge how do you go to college uh uh eventually decided my my sister and mom were in canada because my sister wanted to join college so they thought that they'll go uh, mom will work she will work and mm. uh, try to pay the college bills but of course it's not so easy so she also didn't end up joining college and i have reached there thinking that she is studying so i will also do the same thing and i have reached there she is also not uh, this thing uh, she she is working for 18 18 hours in odd jobs my mom is uh, working for 18 18 hours in odd jobs Uh, they are living in a tiny basement of someone's home and uh, i was like okay you know uh, i guess this is life uh, i will also do the same thing i got myself a job uh, worked for uh, and this is mind you working illegally we didn't yeah. have pr we didn't have anything uh, we were caught yeah. we were gone you know uh, i whatever job i could get it was a grocery store uh, set set it up uh, cleaning grocery store uh, setting up the shelves all that stuff eventually they shifted me to a meat shop uh, uh cutting meat cleaning everything uh, clearing out the garbage every night uh, uh and then it was making pizzas uh and uh, you know cleaning the bathrooms 
so all these things i think i did that for about 4 5 months until my visa was uh, entry was about to end and uh, and we were just sitting one night and we were like okay now what like this visa entry ends i become illegal it's gone it's done you know we can't go back to india we can't uh, be here we have to wait till if we get a status and you know we just have to yeah illegally work our way up to i don't know how many years so uh, so then we decided that okay whatever money we have saved up let's quit our jobs <laughs> we pack one bag book our flights go to delhi uh, uh whatever little we have back there we sort of uh, take it all and uh, go to bombay and that's how we came uh, and uh, yeah there was nothing to lose there was no backup there was uh, we uh, just a family of three my mom me and my sister and uh, we were our each other support we we knew that we'll pick each other up uh, and uh, it was incredibly hard to see my mom do all that because uh, we came here and like uh, we had to audition so obviously we couldn't take up a job because uh, din mein kaam karoge to acting kab karoge sikhoge kab mm-hmm. and and uh, my mom was working in a call center every night so i think that was the hardest part to like see her doing all this for her kids dreams but uh, yeah now that i look back uh, of course i i always wonder every now and then that ki how like how did i how did we like go through this and not think and give up you know mm-hmm. not be like okay bus like how much can a person take like it's done it's, yeah. i i don't know why i'm doing this i i hate acting it's so hard i don't want to do it uh but i guess it was just you know survival and uh, survival and have you ever felt like uh, that i while auditioning because like, from you know bas ho gaya ab nahi ho raha hai like nothing uh-huh. is working now lot of times lot of times i think i felt that in the last two years also <laughs> i feel that every six months some day where mm-hmm. you, you you something unfair happens and then you're like but why like you know i've mm-hmm. worked hard for it mm-hmm. i know i can do it but like why did it happen to me mm-hmm. but uh, you go you go on with it because uh, you know i i love it i don't know anything else uh, i don't have a job that i can take uh, i definitely don't want to work in a meat shops again uh, so i think i get up and work hard on my acting and look for another project just so that i don't have to go back to a small basement in canada or in some other country or just live in some uh, place in india and do some bunch of odd jobs so yeah that keeps kind of on. it it kind of reminded me of the movie parasite if you have watched it i guess i guess and uh, uh, so uh, you know speaking about uh, your projects which one happened first brahmastra or guilty No, no. Brahmastra happened first. Brahmastra happened much for uh, uh, much earlier. It mm-hmm. just uh, it got delayed so much that uh, uh, and thank God it happened. Uh, uh, it came out later because I mean people could recognize me in Brahmastra because there was a guilty. If mm-hmm. Brahmastra came first, no mm-hmm. one would have known. No one would have noticed me because there was a very small role by the end of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, I had shot a lot more and uh, it just uh, got edited out because the film was long and all that stuff. But uh, yeah i mean i think I, I, everything happens for a reason uh, brahmastra happened first i got guilty because brahmastra happened first and someone in dharma knew that oh okay this kid is in brahmastra and he's sort of doing a good job yeah. and maybe he's on to something so uh, they saw my audition and they were like okay he's doing a smaller role now let's give him a bigger role something whatever i don't know what could have gone, gone on but i remember I... texting uh, i i only knew apurva sir at the time in dharma mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Uh, when i audition for guilty i just dropped him a text that you know uh, mm. uh that i auditioned for this film and uh, i'm working with you in brahmastra so mm. uh, you know please see my audition and if you think that uh, it's something that please i'd i'd love to you know do it mm. and uh, he was he was kind enough to you know see my audition and message me also after that that you know I really liked the audition and uh, 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 karan sir wants to meet you and the director wants to meet you and then great like it just happened like that and i remember it was a month before shoot and every day i would i i, I didn't tell any, i didn't tell anyone until i started shoot cuz it was like ki lead role mil gaya hai dharma ki film mein kaise 
you know <laughs> what if i get replaced what if someone wakes up and is like uh, that oh no i want to do this uh, let's not give this new guy a chance so uh, but yeah glad it happened <laughs> amazing yaar yeah, amazing i think it's all about the hard work that you put in you finally have to get that chance i mean it might take time but it will happen yeah, yeah. eventually right you cannot stop talent and uh, so one thing that i just want to ask you you just mentioned that uh, a, a bit um, like you know few scenes of your character from brahmastra got chopped uh, because of the length did did you feel bad about it uh <laughs> of course it does i mean you can't that's emotion right yeah it's okay uh, also, you can Brahma be honest there was yeah. something yeah brahmastra was something everyone worked on for like 5 5 years yeah uh, and uh, it was it was a feature film uh, and i wanted to be you know i wanted that ki okay like you know people notice me and there was there were some good scenes of uh, uh, all of us together me and uh, me and ranbir had this really nice scene there was a song that got chopped off but uh, i mean what can you do it's yeah. uh, i it's all for the bigger picture right i would yeah. i and obviously going into brahmastra and while shooting it i always knew that i it's not my film i am mm-hmm. a very small part of the film and uh, all through it i was incredibly happy and lucky to be a part of it so uh, i i so i realized this very early on that if i'm insecure or if i feel bad about anything then it's only going to affect my acting and nothing else uh so uh so yeah how was ranveer and alia on the sets great great i mean uh uh i would i have just said this in another interview also i uh, like i remember i i think the best moment of my life it will always be this uh, no matter even if uh, uh there are bigger people or bigger actors or directors who message mm-hmm. me i don't care but it was ranveer sending me a text after gu- watching guilty and uh I think it was the sweetest and the best text I have ever received, and I'm always going to cherish it because he's my favorite actor. He's Especially, I one think he's not I... that much. He he is uh, not that much into social media. I mean, uh, we now we know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and and he's the biggest actor. He's the biggest, you know. He the, in 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 this generation, he's the biggest star, mm. and he doesn't need to mm. message a new actor if he yeah. likes their work, you know. Uh, he doesn't have to take out those 2 minutes and message someone so i was like extremely kind here yeah. uh, i i was extremely touched and uh, i was uh, yeah i think uh, uh, that, that more than anything else that's what makes me uh, uh, love all these like alia also she's extremely sweet i remember when she watched uh, guilty i uh, walked out of the premiere and she she came up to me and hugged me and she was like what are you like you know <laughs> how have you done this in your first film like from Brahmastra and like you're leading this and like what? Well, how have you done it? I was like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I just try. That's all. You must have done something yeah. so nice, getting these sort of feedbacks I, from uh, seniors. I, I hope so. I hope so. And speaking about your work, there's another one which is, I think, one of the most anticipated. Uh, films of this year i think you guys are going to start shooting start the shoot for uh, bedarak this year uh hopefully bedarak is a bit pushed right now uh, hmm. i mean it's already out in the news so it's not yeah, yeah it's anymore. already out even but, current... uh, yeah 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 so uh, we have uh, we have other things lined up first uh, i have a prior commitment which i'm going to start uh, shooting for right now and then uh, eventually i think when the time is right it will start Hmm. Uh, I am not thinking too much about it. Whenever it happens, it happens. Fingers crossed. But you guys yeah. already started. I think you guys already started. Um, uh, you know, meeting for the workshops and all that. Ha! We had, but that that was the pandemic. A lot of things hmm. changed after that. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. There was a lockdown after lockdown situation, which was a bit disheartening, heartbreaking. But uh, what can you do? It's life. So, would you? What would you like to uh, tell us about Shania? How is she? in real life as a co-star I I haven't acted with her yet properly but mm-hmm. uh, when I do uh, I'm sure she's wonderful because uh, uh, I've seen You I, guys like, met right I think work, during workshops Yeah yeah we m- met and we 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 obviously friends and we uh, we worked together for about a good chunk of a year and a half uh, That's pretty and, long And uh, yeah and I think uh, 
the best thing about her is that she's extremely hard working uh, uh she knows what she wants and uh, she'll get it she's she's a brilliant dancer uh, acting she's always ready to like up the scenes uh, do the prep and uh, and that's rare you know not every actor is like that uh, and uh, yeah i think that uh, i i remember saying that to everyone about shania that more than anything it's a hard work that will take her forward so yeah yeah i think i have i have also heard the same thing about her from different celebs as well and my last yeah. question to you is that you being an outsider you know of course i i know your story and you making it up <coughs> in the industry uh, now you're going to be working with chanaya you know it's her it's her first project the pressure is so much um how do you, do you think that uh, there are so many ta- star kids who are often targeted you know for nepotism this and that extreme privileges uh, do you think it is fair i mean uh, what is fair in the world anyway <laughs> nothing is and uh, if i had that privilege i'd take it uh, if i'm a star tomorrow and my kids want to be an actor i'd give that uh, i'd give them an opportunity or at least give them a way give show yeah. them a path uh tell them to act uh better go to acting school give them that sort of uh privilege uh, because i worked hard for it you know yeah and if there is a parent somewhere who's uh, who's worked hard for it and made a career and the kid wants to be of course uh, they wouldn't want uh, they wouldn't tell their kid that oh struggle for 15 years kyunki maine kiya tha and then aao apne aap se of of course not you know uh so i think uh, that it's a it's a stupid conversation because uh, uh uh the audience also watches their films no yeah if uh, they they say nepotism nepotism but also they buy the tickets hmm. if they stop buying the tickets then it's a different thing altogether yeah. uh the producers will stop making those movies <laughs> but it's simple yeah. as that uh uh they there's always that relatability factor because you know the sub uh, you know their father you know their mother who's an actor so there is always that uh, familiarity already so yeah so it's fair it's fine uh, why not i i don't think there's anything uh, uh, that uh, an outsider should hate on or keep it uh, like are but ki aise thodi na hota hai kyunki mm. we have our own struggles they have their own struggles mm. and uh, as far as uh, work is concerned uh, 10 15 years later in someone's career five years later in someone's career a actor who has probably made it out of nepotism mm-hmm. and an outsider who's mm-hmm. become an uh, a big actor are going to be at the same place and they will be judged for the work they do not from yeah. the family they come from so and working uh, on the same project is, probably yeah yeah doesn't matter thank you so much for giving me your time and i wish you all the very best i hope uh, we again get time to catch up of course thank you sneha hopefully been more a... work more interviews and looking forward <laughs> yes definitely it's been a pleasure yeah.